Okay, this experiment's based on the work of XE2 over at the Energetic Forum, and he posted details about a dual thief circuit which uses a transformer. And uh, I thought I'd have a go at it today, and this is what I came out with. I've changed a few things about and added a few things, and this is the circuit diagram. So I'll just run through it with you. This is the uh, power supply, and it feeds into the dual thief part of the circuit. This is the transformer, and I'll talk about that again in a minute. Uh, this is a 1K resistor, 100 ohm resistor, and this is a 12 volt relay coil and that feeds into the base of the transistor. This is a neon bulb across the relay coil and that's a 330 microfarad capacitor. The cap value uh, wasn't too critical. I could use uh, up to 1000 microfarads I tried and it all seemed to work quite well. Uh, this relay coil, you can diode off it in both directions and uh, fill caps up. This is producing really high voltage. It's uh, well over 160 volts I charged a cap up to and it was still going. Uh, this is a, a neon across the collector and emitter, and this is uh, really high voltage as well. So you can light things off this, off both these parts of the circuit here. Now this relay coil here boosts the voltage up of the circuit, so we're getting HV here and here at a far lower voltage input level than we normally would by using this relay coil. So this has made all the difference to the circuit here. So uh, that's. Uh, the basics of the circuit, the transformer part. Uh, I used a, an unusual transformer. It was uh, a twin input, twin output transformer. And it's not ideal, uh, but it's quite easy to turn into a dual thief. Uh, on the primaries, all you do is you link the two center pins and the, the two outer pins become your HV output. And your secondary is your dual thief part of the circuit. So you link your two center pins and that becomes your positive input. And then the outer pins, one goes to the collector and the other goes to the base via the resistors and the relay coil. And uh, that's the type of transformer I used. And it has four pins on the top, which is the primary, and four on the bo bottom for the secondary. So not ideal uh, for this application because by linking the two bottom pins there, I'm actually reducing the turns ratio for the HV output, so I've reduced my HV output, but it's still uh, developing very high uh, voltage. And uh, I'll show you the circuit working now. Okay, here's the circuit all set up and running, and it's running on 1.5 volts AA at the moment. Now, uh, this uh, little 9 watt bulb, it's on, uh, it's not very bright on 1.5 volts, but the fact that it's lighting is uh, quite pleasing for me. Uh, there's the transform with the twin 120 volt input. You can see where I've spliced the links together using just jumper wires. The transistor I'm using is a BD139 with a neon across the collector emitter. The relay coil is here, it's this little black thing there, and that's got the uh, neon across it as well. But uh, this bulb won't light without this uh, relay in the circuit. If I bypass that relay coil, the bulb goes out. I'll re reconnect it. And the bulb comes back on, you see. So it needs the relay coil uh, to, to give it that extra voltage. The output voltage is increased by using that relay coil. Now, is what I'll do now is I'll change the power source to a wall adapter. And that's on the 3 volt setting on the wall adapter. Now you can see the difference in the light output straight away. That's uh, pretty bright. But you can hear the relay chattering away. It's actually switching. So you could use the contacts, I suppose, for a switching application maybe. And the neon across the collector emitter is glowing. There's no noise really from the uh, tra transformer at all. But that's chattering away and I quietened that down by using a magnet I just put that on the back of the relay and that stops it all together see the relay's making no noise now but this neon's quite interesting because when I increase the voltage uh, maybe to the next level or maybe to six volts it gets angry and there's purple flashes in that so that's uh, the bulb lit. So what I'll do is I'll bump the voltage up now to 4.5 volts. So you can see the uh, light output increase and these bulbs are uh, really glowing brightly. 
So we could use those to light uh, LEDs, I'm sure. And we'll bump it up to six volts. It's nice and bright. Seven and a half. Nine. I want to try and get hold of some of these LED bulbs everybody's using as well because I, I'm convinced LED bulbs are a far more efficient source of lighting than the CFLs. And I'll put it onto the final 12 volt setting. But these bulbs are uh, really angry. So there's a lot of voltage involved there, and I'll just take that magnet off. And you can hear that relay now. It's chunnering away like mad. But uh, XE2's come up with a really, really useful circuit here. And people are actually using this uh, for lighting in the houses. And I hope to do something similar. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got absolutely no idea what kind of sine wave the inverter's putting out. So to test some mains equipment, I've dug this old radio out. It's a 240 volt UK jobby, and I've got the HV output from the inverter going to a 12 volt wall adapter. I've just got it connected to the uh, prongs of the plug of the uh, adapter. And then the output from the adapter runs into the back of the radio. So it's what I'll do is I'll switch the uh, inverter on now, and it's gonna be on three volts. So the inverter's fired up, the neons are, are both glowing. And uh, the relay's quiet because it's got the magnet on. It's not making any noise at all. The transform doesn't really make any noise either on three volts. Uh, no radio though, but we have got a power on light. So that's the power on light. That thing there's a reflection from the camera. So what I'll do is I'll move the uh, power supply up to 4.5 volts. Still no radio. 6 volts and the radio's come on but very quietly I'll move it up to 7.5 volts supply and it's come on quite well When I leave your door When we say goodnight it hurts me so on 7.5 volts, the current draw is 281 milliamps. So that's working uh, quite well. Bear in mind my output voltage reduced because uh, of the type of transformer I'm using. So my next test will be to change the transformer and uh, see if I can run anything else a bit more heavy duty. Okay, thanks for watching.